So what's Newfoundland like? Um, it's an island, so it has that in common with Montreal, I guess. Okay, I didn't even know that. I my uh, my Canadian geometry is not very good. No, you're <laughs> neither is mine. My geometry in general is not very good. Yeah. Um, it's, I mean, it's where I, I grew up. It's where I was raised and, and born and I spent most of my life there um, mm -hmm. until recent years, really. I've had, I've done a couple of stints in other provinces. Like I lived briefly in Northern Alberta for about six months. I lived briefly in uh, Nova Scotia and Halifax, which is close in proximity to Newfoundland on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, Newfoundland, born and raised, um, and I've lived all across the island. I did my first two university degrees there. Um, and it's, yeah, it's my home. It's where all my family are. Um, but it's a very unforgiving place, I would say, to live. Okay. Um, in terms of weather or social or both? Yeah, in terms of all of those things. Okay. like. Newfoundland was perceived for a long time as a have not province until the oil boom. Uh, and since the oil market crash, um, we've kind of gone back into this state of austerity. You see a lot of uh, cuts over the last few years to public services. It's becoming like increasingly harder to make a go of it there. Um, so the, I was, sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I'm lost because the oil market crash, when was that? I, I'm not even that well, like, because obviously since it's not part of my economic life. Right. Well, in recent years, like the stocks of the oil stocks have crashed, like have like the price per barrel has gone down significantly. Um, that is like the main the mainstay of the uh, Newfoundland and Labrador economy. Um, and uh, so when the oil market crashed, um, the province lost a lot of revenue. Um, and so we've seen, you know, the, I guess, manifestations of that in terms of uh, cuts to public services, of course, like healthcare mm -hmm. and education. And I really saw it when I was a post-secondary student there and tuition fees were, um, you know, every year it was a fight to a fight against the, the university administration who wanted to increase tuition fees and have successfully done so um, a number of years in a row now. Mm -hmm. um, and Newfoundland is like known for, I guess, these sort of economic struggles as well. Um, uh, sort of in the like early colonial period in Newfoundland up until the 90s, the Fishery was, uh, you know, a like huge part of the the provincial economy, um, and then the, the cod stocks dropped, and there was an, a moratorium on the fishery, and so a lot of outport communities in Newfoundland lost, um, you know, virtually all of the jobs that were available to some of those outport regions, um, and that's we're still experiencing the, you know, social and economic impacts of that, you know, 30 years later. So yeah, it's a really hard place to live. And most people of my generation, you know, have had to leave to, um, you know, find a life somewhere else. Um, mm. Myself being one of those people. Who um, ended up in Montreal. I ended up in Montreal, but I also did like a lot of young Newfoundlanders do um and i went to alberta which is uh yeah the another you know oil based economy oh okay um yeah it's it's where the the canadian oil sands are um and so a lot of like young people without uh post secondary education or with some experience in the trades go there to find good paying jobs uh -huh. um, so, you know, there's a huge, the, like the Newfoundland economy is largely based in this sort of rotational work. People fly to Alberta and work for a few weeks in the camps and then they come home for a few weeks and so on and so forth, back and forth. Um, it's, it's migrant labor, essentially. Essentially. 
within yeah. the, the borders of, yeah, yeah. you know. Isn't Canada. that funny? <laughs> <laughs> when there's no borders, it's all right. Yeah, um, right. 